Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. I am starting the vlog a little bit early today because I have had an eventful morning. I went and got my blood drawn at our fertility specialist to see if my numbers have gone below zero, so I had that. And then when I went to go edit the vlog, iMovie is like not showing the video, just playing the audio, so right now it's rebooting and hopefully it won't take that long. So while it does that, I'm gonna prep some of dinner because I have acupuncture later in the afternoon when I typically make dinner. So I'm hoping to have like things ready to go so it'll still be easy. Um, this week is gonna be a little bit weird because we are going to Chicago on Friday, but Peter still has to wrap up stuff with work, so we might have a couple of nights at home. Um, we're gonna figure it out as we go. So I don't know what tonight will hold. So I figured I might as well show you what I'm making and take you along for my day. And maybe even later in the week, like show you more of my routine as it's changed since moving here and since the miscarriage and since just trying to make myself um, like feel better during the day and what I do alongside my work. So. That's what's coming at you this week, and now I'm going to make some chickpea nuggets. Ooh, and my laundry's done. So what I'm making are chickpea nuggets. So this is the breading. It is just breadcrumbs, and I put a little bit of nutritional yeast in there. I put a half a cup in this pan. It does say to put it on a baking rack with parchment paper, but I don't have either of those things. So I'm going to toast these at 375 for five minutes once the oven is heated. Also, this is where we put our It's a Wonderful Life sign. Love it. So I just made rolled oats into like oat dust, half a cup, and then set it aside in a bowl. So the meat of the nuggets is chickpeas, but it does say to set aside a quarter cup of the liquid from the can. To use which is really funny because my friend Lauren told me that say you do not want to cook with eggs the liquid in a can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas that can be used as a substitute for eggs and like pancakes or other sorts of things like that which I thought was really cool but totally makes sense so I'm assuming that I'm going to be using it as sort of like you know how like egg like when you're frying something or you're like putting something together it's like a really good binder I feel like that is what I'm going to be doing in this instance. So I'm just going to use the lid to control this. Let's see how well. Oh, I was pretty darn close. Just a little more. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to drain the chickpeas and put them in my food processor. Okay, so in go. The garbanzo beans. Okay, and now I'm gonna toast toast these little breadcrumbs. It actually said panko breadcrumbs, so like these might be a little finer than you'd like for the breading, but it's what I got. Toast these for five minutes. Added a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then half a teaspoon of onion powder. So then I just chopped it until crumbly. It says keep it in the food processor. And then it says whisk this until foamy. So I don't want to use my big whisk, but let's see if it's like four quarts. So then you just add the chickpea or the garbanzo bean liquid and the oats into the food processor and then pulse until it like starts to form like nugget shapes. Okay, so I ended up adding a little bit more oats in just to get it a little bit thicker. And then these are the toasted breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna form 12 nuggets, coat them in this, and then put them in that same um, glass dish that I am going to bake them in eventually. Just put them in the fridge until they're done. adjust in the lamp that they put on my feet and 
over here is the oils they diffuse. This is where I have acupuncture. I left work early because I knew I'd work at home tonight and because I locked myself out and there's a 30 minute timer to let yourself back in. And it's taken me almost longer to get home than usual. It's a nice surprise. Even though it took me longer to get home, I got home before Sarah. She's still at the um, acupuncturist. So I'm gonna get changed into some comfies. Um, got a night of work ahead of me. I just need to get as much of this situated and figured out. Sorry, I'm trying to plug in. <sighs> trying to plug in some Christmas lights. Um, I gotta get as much of this figured out and automated and, or if not automated, like cleaned up and made a, a clean policy written so anybody on my team can just read it and listen to it step by step and do it because I am trying to, I'm using PTO on Friday and Monday of next week and I'm hoping that I don't have to sign on at all. And that only happens if I can get this thing worked out. Plus it just needs to get worked out in general because technically the project is live, but it's not fully live, but it is fully live, but the whole thing. Oh, is there a shed on my face? It's all weird. Oh, but I'm gonna change, get a little snack. I haven't eaten all day. I realized today I got to the office, got to work, literally did not eat a thing all day. And all of a sudden I got a headache. I'm like, why is it mattered? Because I haven't eaten. Make sure you eat, kids. And I think I freaked Eve out by me coming home and not Sarah because she got all excited, but now she's kind of sad. He's home and he surprised me early. I got home from acupuncture. Surprised or scared? <laughs> yeah. I came home and he was home and it was not what I expected. But he's super hungry so he's gonna start eating this avocado dressing salad that I made. Oh, thank you. The nuggets and the couscous will be done soon. Okay, so I never said how long you should cook the nuggets and they cooked for like between 15 and 20 minutes at 375. I'm watching, I'm um, working, but I'm also, I got, Eve is so cute. I got old school bucket list videos on right now. Love it. Oh gosh, she's about to lick buffalo sauce. Did you show the nuggets? They look fabulous. Here are the nuggets. We're really not eating the rainbow on this plate, but at least the salad is. Yeah, the salad's delicious. Yeah. I already smashed like half of it. And the, and the couscous is really good for you. It's got good proteins and everything. And it's whole wheat. Yeah. And, it, and the nuggets are chickpeas, like, Hey. They're good for us, so Let's you want to live ah. taste it? Oh, without any sauces. Okay. Ah. Weird. Really good. Good? Really good, yeah. Are you hiding something behind that? No. Smirk? I want to dip it into sauces and eat all of them. They're a little bit more doughy than you think of when you think of nugget, but I like the crunch. On the outside, it feels like a nugget. On the inside, it tastes just delicious. Yeah. It needs like more like panko crumbs, like flakier crumbs, but maybe we could get that the next time we go to the grocery store. Yeah. Ooh, -hoo. did we say that we were starting, uh, that we were continuing to watch the morning show on Apple TV? Yeah. Apple TV Plus Express, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, we watched episode one like a week ago or two weeks ago. We just watched episode two <coughs> while I was working on some emails. And I'm gonna run my automation again because I need to do more loading of data, but I need to do other stuff. So I'm gonna run that for like the next hour while we watch the next episode of Morning Show, and then we'll get to actual other work. Um, we are staying in. We are staying in. I don't know if yes, yeah, you didn't say that earlier. I didn't mention that, but it wasn't. It was before you had like really decided. decided. I got. I got. I, I explained earlier on the camera because I actually vlogged before you came home. Oh, you did. That I need to get as much of this stuff figured out and organized appropriately before Chicago, so we can have. A blast all the time. We'll still have a blast even if we have to work, but it'll just be nice not to do like an hour or two of work every day. Yeah. So I gotta, I gotta get it done. We're watching Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> He's kind of fed up with it. Every time they like growl or whine, though, she's like. And I'm taking my work to a whole new level, and I got the second yes. monitor out. Okay. Open to do a lot of work. <gasps> yeah. This is on Disney. Plus, and it's the black and white version, the Ridge. Eve just <laughs> had enough leaving the tramp, so she went to bed. This little typer, typerson is still hard at work. 
Me? Right, Same what, spot. You want to put your heart work planning? Yeah, I did just brainstorm a whole project concept. So. So don't belittle yourself. Come relax right by me. It's so nice. I updated Peter's resume. And he says he's almost done. And I started watching the newsies. And I said, you're becoming a newsie, working long hours. What did you, what did you, what did you just say though? I said, overworked, overworked and underpaid. <laughs> just like a news boy. But, I'm not overworked and underpaid. No, you're not. I was just joking. Are you ready for bed? I think you are. I also think Sarah is too. Alright, it's looking like it is about quarter after midnight. Um, I'm all set. Had some old school Casey Neistat videos playing in the background. It always inspires me to want to internationally travel. But I'm going to give you the daily message. I don't know if this is even going to be a vlog. Sarah mentioned she started vlogging earlier today, which I thanked her and that's sometimes a lifesaver for the vlog, especially because what's going on with work. Um, I think we'll have better, a better vlog tomorrow. I don't really think I um, can work. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to work tomorrow after work hours because we're going straight from the office to Frozen 2, advanced screening. That'll be so much fun when we have, I think, Jess and Katie coming with us. And then after that, we have to come home and start cleaning and packing and organizing because tomorrow's Tuesday and we leave Friday morning. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to finish the, as much of this project as I can um, to get the apartment ready, to get Eve ready, to get Tyler all set. Um, a lot to do over the next couple days. But let me do the message and we can go to bed. But today is, gosh, what is even today? Today is the 19th. I believe, yes, today's, no, today's Monday. I'm crazy. The 18th. Monday, the 18th of November, the message is by Eden Abes. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. That is one of my favorite quotes of all time. It truly is. I did not know that that person was the person who said it though, but I knew I was familiar with the quote. And that is so very true. Sarah even earlier today texted me um, because it, it has been hard with all the work we've been going on, and today was another blood test. I don't know if Sarah mentioned it, but she got her blood test back today, and finally that number has gotten so low that it is now a negative response, which is what we were waiting for. It's not just a waiting game um, for the next infertility steps, but even though like we knew that that was going to happen today, it's still like still a reminder of what things that things aren't what they should be and what we wanted them to be and what we thought we had. Um, but she did text me at one point and go, she goes, how lucky am I that we are best friends, we get to do everything that we do together and go through life together, and that a huge portion of her job, if not probably 80% of her job, is to relook at every single day our lives together, us two being on our adventures together with our little puppy and just preserving that that those little adventures forever so with this ramble i'm gonna go ahead and say it's good to be home because she's been out for about an hour now so even if i try to wake her up for the sign off she will be what i like to call my sleepy sarah and it's basically like sleepwalking so we won't show the vlog that at least yet unless i can get that somehow without her realizing she does sleepwalk sometimes one day. I'll get it one day for you guys. Just wait. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>